I'm gonna let you know this is being recorded. That's fine. Question: When it comes to these jobs, oh, let's get that right. Okay, so I did have an accident, and I could be truthful about this because this accident it hurt me because I really like my little job. Anyways, I was working for a company, everybody favorite little gas station. <clears throat> Anywho, they fired me because a customer came in and assaulted me first. Like, I let this lady push me three times, then she mushed me in the face, like, one time. Then, as soon as she caught the hand back and about to punch me, all I did was just take her with, throw it out the door. <laughs> they say, oh, you know, you're fired because, you know, you put your hands on a customer and da-da-da. But I really felt like they fired like they fired me over nothing. Okay. I was defending myself. Let's not worry about the job. Okay? Cool. Uh, great. So your job, wait, you're not going to get your job back, right? Oh, yeah. I, you can get fired for any reason, no matter what. Being like, hey, yeah. you know what? Oh, my God, are those Nikes? Get out. You're gone. you fired. Yeah. Right? We don't need a rule here. However, <clears throat> uh, number one, you got assaulted. So the person that hits you, <clears throat> they're liable for your injuries, right? You can track down that person and figure out who they were, and you can sue them. And they got to pay you for your medical bills. They got to pay you for your damages. You can mm. file criminal charges against them. Mm. <clears throat> but I still got the police report every time. Yeah, so you, if you've got their name and their information, you can do that. If you even don't have their information, she bought something at that store, that store's got her credit card information. Right. So you can have a lawyer send a request to that store, and that store will have to give you that information. Yeah. Also, the store's also responsible for your injury. Yes! Because right? the store has insurance, okay? Mm. This is a workman's comp claim, right? You were injured during the normal scope and duties of your job. Your job is to stand behind that counter and help people doesn't matter if the ceiling fell on you or somebody attacked you. You got hurt at work while doing your job. So yes. the store's insurance company is probably going to be have to like there would be the store would be liable. So the insurance company for the store would also probably have to indemnify them and make a payment to you. Yeah. But also the person that beats you up is also going to be responsible mm -hmm. for your injury. Because she caused me emotional distress. I wanted to sue the store because I just felt like. Honestly, they're supposed to have security, but they did not have security. Doesn't matter if they got security. Doesn't matter what the steps they did or did not take, yeah. right? You got hurt while at work, and then they fired you for it. So you can sue the store for your injuries during the normal scope of your employment, and then their insurance company will be the one that has to pay for it, yes. right? You can also sue the person that actually caused your injury. My recommendation to you, hire a personal injury attorney. Give them a copy of the police report. Tell them what happened. If you got any medical bills, give them that. And they'll take it from there. But how much is a personal injury lawyer cost? Oh, yeah. So that's the best part. They're kind of sort of free. Ah! Uh, so there's the most personal injury lawyers, right? We work on what's called contingency. Yeah. Okay? So um, we represent you for free. And you only pay us if you win. And we take a percentage of whatever you get. Generally speaking, it's between 33 and 40 percent. That seems like a lot, but um, zero percent of zero is zero. So uh, yeah, I, yeah. Like, I you, guess you're saying yeah. yeah. If you got to give me 30 percent of a thousand dollars, that's 300 dollars. But that 600 in your pocket is still more than the 100 percent of the zero you have. Yeah. Right. Plus, lawsuits can take time. They can take six months. They can take three or four years. Yeah. They take forever. The lawyer will do all of that work for free, mm. and it will just take his 33 to 40% of whatever it is. And those numbers vary by firm, but generally speaking, it's 33% to contract the lawyer to send a demand letter, start negotiating, and argue for you, right? Mm -hmm. If they have to file the lawsuit, and then you have to get you know other lawyers and courts involved and all that, it generally goes up to 40%. That's because that all yeah. costs money, and the lawyer doesn't pay for those things out of their pocket, right? Yeah. But they will front all the costs, so it costs yeah. you nothing up front. Mmm, that's good though. Maybe I need to. Hey, can I have your TikTok? Yeah, uh, here. Yeah. I got a QR code. I'm going to scan that. Long head and little 